Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem here to solve. It says the graph of a function passes to a point, and then we're given that slope of this f at any point is six times the y coordinate of the, the of the given point. We are supposed to find f of one. Of course, they're really looking for is f of x. Okay, so let's get started. Let's translate the slope. It says slope of f, which is really saying f prime of x is equal to 6 times the y coordinate. Okay, so if you have a y equal to f of x and f prime is equal to 6y, the way we would solve this one, and okay, let's put this one into dy dx is equal to 6y. Okay, we're going to have to play a trick a little bit in that we're going to move this one over and make it a dx. And we're going to integrate on each side. This becomes natural log of a y uh, equal to 6x plus a constant. Okay, so that's uh, not dealing with the constant here. So basically y is equal to e exponential 6x. Okay, now let's check on the side because we know what f prime is supposed to be. So y prime is equal to e to the 6 of x, doesn't change, times 6. y prime is equal to, this chunk is equal to y times 6. Okay, so it does work out the way we want it to do. So now given this f of x is equal to e to the 6x, actually plus a constant. Okay, we were given a clue and it passed through the point of 0, 2. So let's substitute in there. So 2 is equal to e, 6 times 0 plus c. This one gets to be 1, e to the 0 is 1, so we see that c is actually equal to 1. Now our function is complete. f of x is equal to e to the 6x plus 1. So f of 1 is e to the 6 plus 1. Okay. Now let's review a little bit. So the trick for this whole problem is this step here. If you can recognize prime is really 6 times y, and prime is dy dx, play around a little bit and multiply dx and divide by y, you'll see that dy over y is 6 times x. From there, everything else falls out pretty easily. And using the given trick, you will find out what the coefficient, integration coefficient or constant is. And from there, knowing that function of f of x equal to this, substituting in there f of 1, it's readily available. All right? Hope this helped. Have a confident day.